Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I have some very interesting information about 4 star legendary weapons. Let's get into it here. Okay, so this is Jonathan Rush. I highly recommend you follow him on Twitter. He's a super nice guy and very informative always posting cool stuff and when you see like bethesda doing like um like a video a live thing or whatever a lot of the times uh john here is uh usually you know they're explaining things for bethesda and it's just what he does and he does it fantastic and he was talking about a in a, or sorry in a in a xbox games con the day two specifically he was talking about four star legendaries coming this december now i will link in the description with it time stamped right where he starts talking about this if it doesn't work because i know it doesn't um for everybody it should work i already tried it it seems to go right there but if it doesn't just go it's right near the end of the video he starts talking about it and i would have put the footage in this video i just don't know if i'm gonna get copyright striked or how that works um yeah, I just need to learn a little bit more about that stuff. But to talk about this a little bit further, what he said was, is that with the new raid that is coming in this December, which I'm assuming is that snake raid that we kind of got a trailer for recently as well, um, if you do manage to beat it, and he made it sound like these are not going to be easy, which um, from what I remember with the Strangler Heart Power Armor raids, those were not easy like they were almost impossible solo from what i remember i was a fairly new player at that point but i have to say if it's anything like those then it's definitely not going to be easy and he does say at the end of them you'll have the opportunity to get a four star weapon armor or you know regular armor or sorry power armor regular armor and weapons so this is absolutely huge. I think this will definitely, um, you know, keep us giving us something to do up until we're able to play as a ghoul early next year because we got the update coming early September. And then, um, which I'm going to do a video on as well. I'm going to let you know everything that's coming this September 5th, I think it is, or September 3rd, one of the two. It's coming early September, uh, new season and all of that. Um, and then the Ghoul 2025, like I was saying, it should be early 2025. And then this just squeezes right in the middle of it. So I'm guessing this is the following season. Can't say for sure. I don't want to speculate too much. But uh, this raid is definitely exciting. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I, like, I don't know how this is going to work. Like, does this have to do with the new legendary system that's rolling out and the new update coming this early September? Um, are we going to be able to add four stars? Or are we just going to have a chance at random four star loot when we're done the, uh, the raid? I really hope that's not the case. I hope it's like... I was going to say like a box mod for a for a fourth star. I don't know if that's possible. Who knows what type of stars we're going to get because we have like primary, secondaries and whatnot. So like is this going to be a primary or secondaries? Because if you can have like um, a bloodied executioner's like, you know, railway rifle, like this is going to get insane. So I definitely have a lot of questions about this. Again, I will link this video in the description. It should be time stamped. Um, even if you want to, like, you know, revert it back from where I timestamped it, John talks a lot about the new stuff coming this season, and just a lot of stuff you may want to know about coming to Fallout. Like I said, John does a fabulous job in these little interviews or whatever you want to call them, so shout out to you, John. I think you're absolutely awesome. Always nice to hear from you too, buddy. And, uh, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, man, and keep bringing us this exciting news. I appreciate it so much. And I think some people may have overlooked this a bit, because I think he said this, like, a couple days ago. So I did plan on making a video about it, and, uh, yeah, here we are, everybody. I think this is extremely exciting. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, how this is going to work, if we're going to be able to get box mods, or we're going to have to roll them, or it's just a chance at random loot. I think if you went in there with a certain weapon, or armor, or whatever you're wearing, I think it would be cool if it gave a chance to add 
to something you're using, maybe an extra star. So maybe you come out in your power armor, one of your pieces has a fourth star now. I think that would be really cool, actually. But honestly, I have no clue how they're going to work this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Sorry to ramble on as usual, everybody. This is extremely exciting. And yeah, I definitely can't wait to see what a four-star railway rifle will do. <laughs> as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have a pleasant evening.